Here are some of the features of FTP on the Go and FTP on the Go Pro for iOS 7. We'll start by looking at the app on an iPhone. When you open the app, you are brought to the server login screen. You can connect using regular FTP, FTPS, or SFTP. A new feature is that you can import and export your bookmarks over iCloud between your devices. There is an extra layer of encryption added to keep your login information secure. Once connected, you will see the contents of your server. If you want to view something, select the file and then tap the View button. Many types of files can be viewed or edited right inside the app. For file commands, tap the Menu button on the right side of the row. From here, you can rename, move, delete, or change the access permissions of the file. There is a similar menu for folders. The folder menu also lets you download entire directory trees. On the lower toolbar, you can refresh the directory, sort the files, download files onto your device, enable multi-select to interact with many files at once, and access the menu for the entire FTP site. The Saved Files tab looks very similar to the FTP view, but shows files that are saved locally on your device. Here is the web page I downloaded earlier. There are three special folders in the Saved Files area. Cloud Files will sync files between all your devices using iCloud. Photo Library is the collection of pictures and videos on your device. If you want to upload a picture you just took, you can find it here. Shared with iTunes is synced with iTunes so you can easily move files back and forth between your computer and iOS device. WebView is a built-in browser that lets web developers view the changes they've made without needing to switch apps. It also works as a regular browser. Transfers will show the files currently downloading or in the download queue. And the settings is where you can configure the app to work the way you want it to work. Now let's look at FTP on the Go Pro on an iPad to really see what it can do. The first thing you'll notice on the iPad is that you have a lot more space to work with. I don't want to retype my login information, so I'll import the bookmarks I just saved to iCloud. The various menus appear as pop-ups on the iPad, which makes them very easy to work with. Open In lets you view files in other apps and now also lets you send the file using AirDrop if your device supports it. The tabs are all still here just as before, but the Web View and File View gets the whole right side of the screen. On the iPad, you can open multiple files at once and switch between them using the tabs. Line numbers are new to this edition. Search and Replace and other editing tools have been consolidated into a side panel. This can be reached by the button on the toolbar or by swiping across the screen. Editor color schemes are new in this version. You can choose the one you like the best. And that is an overview of what FTP on the Go and FTP on the Go Pro redesigned for iOS 7 have to offer.